37. Which member of each pair of metals is more likely to corrode or more likely to oxidize? So in this case, I have a sample of gold, Au, and mercury, which is Hg. If I have a sample of both of them, which one would corrode or oxidize faster or first? So whenever we're talking about corrosion, it's always linked to oxidation. Remember, in a redox reaction, there's always oxidation and reduction. So this means that I got to go in the back of the textbook to find out the half reactions of gold and mercury and just write down their cell potentials. So for gold, I have 1.692 volts and for mercury, I got 0.851 volts. But what is this going to tell me in terms of which one's going to oxidize? But the thing here is that when I do go to the back of the textbook to find half reactions, I notice that every single half reaction equation always puts the electrons on the left side of the equation. This means that you're gaining electrons. And if you're gaining electrons, the standard half reaction is always in its reduction form. But in this case, when we're talking about corrosion, we want the oxidation form. So the thing here is that since they're always going to be in reduction form standard in the back of a textbook, the higher the value, the more reduced or the, the more chance that that, uh, that metal or that substance is going to be reduced. So the higher the value is going to be reduction. And the lower the value, so, you know, going down, 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 is always going to lead to oxidation. And that's where the corrosion happens. So out of these two, we just have to pick the lower value. 1.692 versus 0.851. Obviously, 0.851 is lower than the other one. So which one would oxidize or corrode first? It would be good old mercury. And that is the final answer. What'd you think? Hope for this helped. Let me know in the comments. Subscribe to the channel if you want to help us out. We're almost at 30,000 subscribers now, which is absolutely incredible. And it's all thanks to you guys. We wouldn't be here without you guys and your kind comments. And I love seeing that you guys are learning through these videos. So thank you so much. Let's just keep learning and I'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.